name is Marie and welcome to my kawaii world. So this video is going to be all about Japanese snacks. And in this video, I'm going to show you some of the things I got last time I went to Japan. And a lot of things you can get online is just going to be a little bit more expensive than what you would pay in Japan. This is going to be a two-part video. First, I'm going to take you shopping at a couple of places I like to go for snacks. And then I'm going to do sort of a haul and show you some of my favorite things to get. So right now we're shopping at Don Quixote and Don Quixote is sort of an everything store. They sell cosmetics and housewares and shampoo and they also have a pretty good snack section. And here we are at the gummy wall. If you guys are really into Japanese gummies, make sure to check out my review. Uh, the kids reviewed about 10 Japanese gummies and it's really cute. I'll link it in the description box if you guys are interested. Personally, I really like the Kororo gummies which are really soft gummies that are encased okay, in a thin membrane. It's almost like eating a real grape. Are you guys familiar with these candy kits? They don't actually taste that good but they're really fun to do and some of them are almost like doing a science project and others are like modeling little miniature food pieces out of clay. It's really adorable and my kids love them. Yeah. It's too much. Something. What do you, what do you think this was? Before when you looked I just thought it was regular Mentos. Huh? I just thought it was regular Mentos. Oh, you thought it was grape, something like that? Just regular flavor, yeah. I didn't know it was gonna be peach. Peach, yeah. Silly you. Silly me. Oh, we have to find those cheese snacks. The puffy cheese snacks. Wow. You know those ones that have the cheese powder? And they're like really light and puffy? We shouldn't get this, this is gonna melt. Yeah, it's like a puffy ball, we used to have it in Korea. These are gonna melt. Here are all the potato chips. There's so many good flavors of potato chips. These are called yakitori umaibo. Have you had them? They're like a corn puff and they're flavored. And mint chocolate chip was the in flavor of the season when we visited Japan. These jagabi potato chips are really good. And I like that rainbow box. So over here they have these desserts. I think they're like biscuits by this company called Bourbon and they're all really good. The purple one is my absolute favorite. Come on. Oh, oh, fancy Pocky. Fauchon is a delicatessen in France, and it looks like they did a collaboration with pistachio and cassis pocky. Mm. Okay, now we're at Seiyu, which is the Walmart of Japan, and I have a full video on this grocery store if you guys are interested. But I'm looking at the fresh mochi or rice cakes and other baked goods here. Okay, I'm coming up on the snack aisle. There's three aisles, one for cookies and chocolate, the next for chips and candy, and the third one is mostly for Japanese traditional snacks. So this is the potato chips aisle. This aisle is pretty insane. They have so many different flavors of potato chips that we don't have in the US. Some of them are kind of different, like this is ume or pickled plum. These are spicy matchstick chips that are really good. And this looks like it's maguro or tuna flavored chips. This one is shrimp flavored potato chips and these are honey butter parsley i think this is the original honey butter and this is shoyu flavored potato chips that one sounds really good this is french salada french salad 
This is nori shio or seaweed salt. If you guys haven't had seaweed potato chips, you are missing out. It's really good. And this last one is consomme. I think Kalbi is probably the most well-known potato chip company in Japan. And they have a store in Harajuku where you can get fresh chips. And this one looks like it's chicken, spicy chicken. Pizza chips. Kalbi makes these potato sticks that are really crunchy and good. My kids love these. They're really oily for me. It's almost like a, a freeze-dried french fry. A lot of other companies make imitations, so I know I've seen it at Trader Joe's and you can also find an imitation one in Korea. But they probably don't have all these flavor varieties. Okay, now we're in the gummy and candy section. In Japan, salt is considered a summer flavor, so you see all these different products with salt coming out during the summer time. Oh, these koala yummies are such a nostalgic snack for me. It looks like it's made by Lotte though, which is a Korean company. For me, Pocky is the iconic Japanese snack. I love how in Japan they have different flavors depending on the season. I got the chocolate mint. The topo are Pocky that have the chocolate inside the stick instead of on the outside. Here we are at the Kit Kat section. I'm actually not the biggest fan of Kit Kats. I just like them because they have different flavors and I feel compelled to try all of the different flavors every time they come out with a new one. These are another favorite of mine, Kinoko no Yama or mushrooms from the mountain and Takenoko no Yama or little bamboo shoots. And they're just little biscuits that are dipped in chocolate. Ooh, anything with Hello Kitty I am drawn to like a moth to a flame. I don't know why, but I really like these little panda cookies. They're just little biscuits that are covered in white and dark chocolate, but I think they're really adorable. I've always had kind of a thing for these cookies, and they make them in green tea and strawberry flavors sometimes. Oh, this bourbon rumond cookie has to be my favorite biscuit. It is so next level. I'll show you guys what it looks like in detail at the end of the video when I do my haul. I mean, I just can't resist these. You can get them in the States, but they're only like a dollar in Japan, which is so cheap. These are rum raisin sandwiches, and I think this is probably my second favorite cookie slash biscuit in Japan. It's so, so delicious. I love the supermarket version too, you don't have to get a fancy one. And I also love these really crispy thin wafers with a thin layer of cream in the middle. They remind me of my grandma. She always had something like that at her house. Alright guys, it's time for me to do a little snack haul. First up is the Bourbon Le Monde cookie and Bourbon is a company that makes Japanese sweets and cookies and gummies and a lot of other snacks. And they have a whole line of cookies but this one is my favorite. It's a thin and crispy wafer like cookie and it's coated in a light frosting which is not too sweet. It sort of has the consistency of a really thin white chocolate. And what I really like about this is that inside of this frosted filling, there are the most light and airy, crispy wafer flakes that are so crumbly and so good. A 
Kamera Seika is a company that makes Japanese rice crackers, including my favorite Kaki no Tane. And these ones are probably one of my favorite guilt-free Japanese snacks. They're all individually packaged for portion control. And these are basically soy sauce flavored rice crackers that are wrapped in seaweed. And each cracker is grilled and then coated with a sticky soy sauce. These pair really well with a nice cup of matcha or genmaicha, whatever type of green tea you prefer. Morinaga Haichu Candies. Is this a gum or a candy? That's a big question that you have when you eat one of these. It's actually a candy, but the texture makes it seem like it's a gum. This chewy candy is so soft and flavorful, and the flavors just explode in your mouth. It's a classic, and they come in tons of different flavors, and they even have seasonal varieties. It's kind of like a Starburst candy, but it's so much softer and chewier and so much better. The Morinaga Haichu Mini. These are miniature Haichu candies and these are so good. They kind of remind me of chewy sweet tarts but with no tartness whatsoever and a much chewier texture. They're really quite different from the regular Haichu candies but they're still really good. They come in these tiny little balls and the exterior is crunchy and the interior is super chewy just like a Haichu. Bourbon Gato Raisin Sandwiches. These are soft almond cookie sandwiches that are filled with either rum butter raisin cream or caramel cream and raisins. I know that raisins can be kind of a controversial snack item, but personally, I really love them. And these raisins are infused with rum and have 1.2% alcohol. 7-Eleven makes a fancier version of these with crispier cookies, but there's something about these that I just really love so much. I think they're so savory and delicious and great with tea. Kombu candy. These candies are made out of kelp, which is a thick seaweed that's used to season soup, and it really gives soup an umami flavor. So these candies are a little bit sweet, they're ultra savory and umami, and they're also really chewy. It's almost like a seaweed jerky. There are a lot of imitations out there, but these are Kalbi potato sticks, and these are the bits, so they're a little bit shorter than the regular potato sticks. But they're still really good. These are almost like a freeze-dried McDonald's french fry, and they're ultra crunchy and pretty oily, but super good. Japanese Kit Kats are so much better than American Kit Kats. Number one, they have so many different flavors. Number two, they have a little spot on the back of the box where you can give it to somebody as a gift. And these all have an expiration date on them. This little box contains three different packets of Kit Kats, so they're all individually wrapped and you can do a little bit more portion control this way. This is the lemon shio or lemon salt flavor and I think this was a seasonal item so they probably don't have this anymore but I'm sure that you can find tons of other cool flavors and it's always fun to try the different flavors of Kit Kats depending on the season. They vary depending on the region of Japan that you're in but you can find just about everything at Narita Airport. Next I have this bag of Japanese rice crackers and these are all soy sauce flavored crackers but the thing I like in this particular bag is there's one cracker that is super saturated and ultra salty. It's this dark brown one and it's super good and for comparison here is the lighter brown cracker. If you are Asian and you grew up in the US, you've probably had this before. We call this Koala Yummies in the US, and in Japan it's called Koala's March. These are manufactured by Lotte, which is a Korean company, but the strange thing is I don't really see these a lot in Korea. Each of the cookies have different pictures of koalas in different outfits and they are super adorable. They come out with Halloween versions as well. And then if you take a bite in the middle, you'll find creamy milk chocolate. 
They also make a strawberry flavored koala yummy and when I was in Japan last time I found this other version which I've never seen before. They're kind of like inside out koala yummies because instead of having chocolate on the inside, you have a chocolate cookie. And then if you take a bite, you'll find white chocolate on the inside. Next up I have these Morinaga Koeda sweet potato sticks and these are really nice because they're perfectly portioned in these little packages and these are little sticks that look like pieces of wood. I didn't like these that much, I thought that they were a little too sweet. These are the Takenoko no Yama biscuits and I really like these and I also like the mushroom ones. I bought this in the summertime and unfortunately everything melted so it just looks like one big mess but these are actually pretty good cookies. Takenoko means bamboo child so these are supposed to be little baby bamboo shoots. To me, Pocky is the iconic Japanese snack. It's something that I grew up eating and I really love Pocky. So whenever I see a new flavor, I have to try it. I got these at Don Quixote and this first box is the Cassis flavored Pocky. Cassis are more commonly known as black currants and it's a dark bluish purple berry. Usually the Pockies come with two packages in one box, but this one comes with four packages. And the biscuit tastes almost like a wheat biscuit. It's a little bit healthy tasting. And the chocolate is not super sweet, but at the tip, there's kind of a burst of sweetness. This is the Pistachio Fauchon collaboration. And this one is a pistachio flavored biscuit stick that's coated in milk chocolate and throughout the biscuit it seems like there's little tiny minuscule chunks of pistachio crumbs. Out of these two I definitely like the pistachio one better. I think the Cassie's one tastes slightly healthy and I don't really like it. Strawberry is my favorite Pocky flavor. Even though there are so many fancy flavors, I always go with this one that I've had since I was a child. It's just nostalgic for me. And this one is a little bit different because instead of a regular biscuit stick, it has a chocolate flavored biscuit. And I think these packages are so pretty. I don't remember Pocky having this kind of gradient color, but I really like it. This one is also a little bit different because it has little tiny bits of strawberry dispersed throughout the frosting. This is the Pocky Almond Crush, and this is my husband's favorite flavor. I like how on the back of these Pocky boxes, they have a spot where you can write a message and give it to somebody. I think it's really cute. The Almond Crush usually comes in a gold box, so I really like this blue color. I don't know if it's a special edition or if they have new packaging. And this one also has the gradient on the plastic package. And I also like how they divide it up into two packs, so you can sort of have a little bit of portion control. Look at how defined the biscuit marks are on this stick. Almond Crush is really nice because it has the perfect combination of sweet and savory and salty and crunchy all in one snack. Last summer, Choco Mint was really trending in Japan and everybody was making chocolate and mint desserts and cookies and snacks. So of course, Pocky had to come out with their own version. I really love this mint color. I think it's so pretty. If you're into chocolate mint, then you'll probably really like this. It's a chocolate biscuit that's coated in a thin layer of minty frosting. And I think that the flavor combination with this is so perfect and so good. Chiza is one of my favorite snacks. They say that you're supposed to pair this with alcohol, so beer or wine. And this is just a really intense, crunchy, cheesy cracker. It's so different from Cheez-Its and it's so delicious. These are the Seiyu brand jelly cups and these are just little jellies in tangerine, grape, and apple flavor. And they're supposed to be all natural. One of our friends who only feeds her kids organic, natural products asked us to buy 10 of these because they really like them. I'm not really sure how healthy they are, but they are really delicious. This last one is a cheesy rice puff and this is probably one of my favorite snacks. It's so light and airy. It just melts in your mouth like air and it's so savory. They also have this kinako or soy jam powder version and this is what it looks like. I'm sorry I don't have a better video of this. I don't know what happened. I just found this video in my old insta stories. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I 
if you enjoyed that, make sure to check out these videos right here. And I want to give a big thank you to my Patreons and channel members for supporting me. You guys are the best and I really appreciate your support. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.